In this video, we will show you how to import data in Stata by two ways, copying and pasting data, and directly importing data files of other software. In practice, the easiest way to get data into Stata is often overlooked, you can copy data from most applications, that understand the concept of a table, and then paste the data into the data editor. This approach works for all spreadsheet applications, many database applications, some word processing applications, and even some web pages. Just copy the full range of data, paste it into the data editor, and everything will probably work well. You can even copy a text file that has the pieces of data separated by commas and then paste it into the data editor. Suppose that your friend has a small data set about some very old cars, and you would like to put these data into Stata. Doing so is easier than you think as following. Firstly, clear out your current data set by typing clear. Then, copy the above data. Now, open the data editor in edit mode. Then, select edit, and click paste special. Stata sees that the column delimiters are commas, and shows how the data would look. Now, click on the OK for finishing the process. You can see that Stata has imported the data nicely. Be careful if you are copying data from a spreadsheet, because spreadsheets can contain special formatting that ruins its rectangular form. Be sure that your spreadsheet does not contain blank rows, blank columns, repeated headers, or merged cells because these can cause trouble. As long as your spreadsheet looks like a table, you will be fine. Copying and pasting is a great way to bring data into Stata, but if you need a clear audit trail for your data, you will need another way to bring data into Stata. Stata has some more specialized methods for reading data, that were created by other applications and stored in their proprietary formats. We will show you how to import data files of other software in Stata. Click File, then Import, now, you have different options of importing. The import Excel command is made for reading files created by Microsoft Excel. The import SPSS command is made for reading files created by IBM SPSS Statistics. The import SAS command is made for reading files created by SAS. The import SAS Sport 5 and import SAS Sport 8 commands can read SAS V5 and SAS V8 transport files. If you have software that supports ODBC, you can read data by using the ODBC command without the need to create interim files. The JDBC command allows you to connect to, load data from, insert data into, and execute queries on a database using JDBC. We finish here the video. Thanks very much for your attention. See you soon in the next videos.